to tonight's recap of Amazing Race All-Stars. What a great episode. It was a good episode. I know I say this every week, but this whole season has been really awesome. Really of course been it's enjoying All-Stars. It. Oh. All right, so last week they ended in Switzerland, and now they have to fly to Sevilla, Spain. I always call it Seville. That's because you're not <laughs> cultured. All right, well, when they get there, they have to go to the Alameda, and caution... U-turn ahead! Uh-oh! Double U-turn. Yeah. So, you know, there's the whole conflict between Dave and Connor and Brendan and Rachel, which has now also included... The accidental alliance against Brenchel, so... You have no reason to be involved, and... Stupid. You know what? <laughs> the Dave and Connor team should not be that pissed off either, because... They didn't U-turn them because they were old. You know, that's not a reason not to U-turn somebody because they're old. I know. That's the biggest bunch of BS Whatever. I've ever heard. So, Caroline and Jennifer were like, oh, who could U-turn Dave and Connor? They're the sweetest guys on the planet. Yeah. If you live on planet A-hole. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're sweet at all. I think they're just a bunch of jerks. All right. Well, Leo and Jamal and Dave and Connor ended up on the first flight. Right. So the other uh, teams were about an hour, well, they were more than an hour behind, but when they got to the destination, the clue wasn't available till 8.30 in the morning. So, so that gave the other teams a chance to catch up, because they right. actually had to wait until the next morning to fly right. from Barcelona to Sevilla. It was pretty cool, though, the way uh, the clue was uh, presented to everybody. There was a trumpet player that... <laughs> Yes. The amazing races. So the other three teams ended up only being an hour behind. Yeah. The so first not two. bad considering. Mm hmm. So roadblock time. They had to go to this barber shop. I'm the barber of Saville. <laughs> yeah. All right. They had to shave a balloon in 60 seconds with a straight razor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's tough. While an opera guy sang, la, 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 I love that. I love opera. <laughs> so, Connor finished first because he is used to shaving balloons. <sighs> All right. Uh, Brenchel had a tough time even getting there. Their taxi yes. was like, I don't know where this is. I don't know this. Yeah, so eventually they <laughs> did no get there. I have no internet. No internet. It was kind of cool because everybody was speaking Spanish. Everybody pretty much knew Spanish, I think, except for... Um, for the most part. Except for Dave and Connor. I mean, I feel like at most schools in America, if you're going to take a secondary language, it would be Spanish, Spanish or French would probably, for the most part. Well, Spanish would probably be the most helpful. So, <laughs> it was detour time. It's either Spanish steps or run with the balls. All right. Blue, blue, blah, blah. Bulls? Bulls. But it was called balls. For, right. We'll get there for reasons right. that we will get to. So let's talk about uh, Spanish steps first. You, you know, had to learn a little flamenco routine. Which was not really a flamenco routine. It was really easy. It was bad. It was really bad. It looked bad. a lot like a hula dancing thing. A hula dancing with three or four stomps at the end and a clap. But I mean, flamenco is not something that you can just learn no. like that. It's no. very stylized and it's very difficult. But the teachers seem pretty happy with the students, so whatever. Yeah. Or run with the bulls. Run through the streets of Seville as a bull in a ball. Yeah, they had these big inflatable balls, and you just get right in there. It was like those uh, it's like samurai a sumo guys. wrestling. Yeah, costume. not samurai sumo. That's right. Uh, you had to also pick as you up were getting attacked. Court. Right. Yeah, did we happen to mention <laughs> they were attacking you in those suits? Other people dressed up as bulls were, like, bopping you as hard as they could, you know, like, bucking you. Yeah, you had to look out, keep your head on a swivel, and look for these signs to put together this phrase. Right, which was, a matador never thinks about his own death. Right, so it was very difficult to, like, look for those when you're getting... Yeah, especially stampeded. for the cowboys who missed the first part of the clue yeah, they and they to had back. to go back. The only team that didn't do the Bulls challenge was Caroline and Jennifer. Well, they also had to do a speed bump, mm -hmm. which was deliver six Spanish hams to a cafe. 
<laughs> whatever. I mean, yeah, it was gross because they had to like carry them on them like by the It wasn't ropes, too difficult but, though. Yeah, it wasn't really difficult at all. So everyone shows that, but somebody's gonna have to go back and do the other side. All right. Little, Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> uh, a couple more details on running with the balls. A couple of highlights. Dave pleaded with the bulls. I'm old. We know. Oh. We know. And one of the Afghanimals hurt his knee. That was painful, and I can identify with that because I just hurt my knee today. Mm -hmm. uh, Rachel was also pleading with the bulls. I'm a girl. Brendan, they're hitting me. <laughs> they're bullying me. <laughs> bullying. I Get see it? what you did there. All right. Uh, General Archive of the Indies was the next point of clue, mm -hmm. which is also the place where the double U-turn was. Yeah. Uh-oh, hot dog. Well, Dave and Connor were first to that, uh, checkpoint. They were like, oh, we can't U-turn anymore. We'd really we... love to. <laughs> oh, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> sounded like him. Right? Yeah. All right. So, the Afghanimals were there next, and since one of them hurt their knee, they figured... Brendan and Rachel aren't really a threat to us, but the I cowboys think are. They were planning on using the U-turn anyway, but everyone was assuming that they would use it on Brendan and Rachel because they all hate them so much. But then they were like, um, "I think that the cowboys are a bigger competition for us." So right. they U-turned the cowboys. Right, but they were also hoping that the cowboys would U-turn Brendan and Rachel. Right. They didn't realize that Brendan and Rachel were ahead of the Cowboys at yeah. that point. Yeah. Well, Carolyn and Jennifer are just stupid. <laughs> and they also didn't re realize that Brendan and Rachel were already through the U-turn when they got there because they were the only ones that did flamenco, so they didn't know what was going on, so they ended up U-turning Brendan and Rachel, which was meaningless. Didn't matter. Anyway. So the pit stop was at Plaza de España. And Which Dave looked gorgeous, by the way. Oh, yeah. Dave and Connor arrived first, and they won a trip to St. Croix. Hopefully the spa there will be able to extricate the sticks out of their asses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Coming in second place, total surprise, because yeah. the Afghanimals were ahead of them, but Brenchel pulled out second place. Yeah, because... Uh, they were hustling while the Afghanimals were taking it easy. They were limping. Because they had hurt, they fell down and hurt the leg. Yeah, but Brendan and Rachel, <laughs> Rachel had a little spill on the way there. She yeah. fell flat on her face. Yeah, but she was like all upset. And then when uh, Phil said they were in second place, she was all like, <gasps> that's great. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy. And Leo and Jamal were pretty upset that they were in third place. Yeah, so Carolyn and Jennifer squeaked their butts by Jet and Cord and came in fourth. And Jet and Cord are eliminated. Yep. Sorry, Cowboys. Sad to see them go. I liked how they, really they were staying out of the drama. That was nice, but... Unfortunately, they were caught in the crossfire. Yeah. So, next time... Oh I can't even wait. I love... Oh, my God. England. <laughs> and Yay! Soccer. And shooting. <laughs> and Brendan. Please don't let it be that. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they make it. Anyway, let me know who your favorites are because we'd love to know. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about Jet and Cord getting the axe? Sweet. I know. Till next time. Much, much love. love. Edit. <laughs>